So I came in the door. Christine Kiss has just returned home from a five-week holiday to Europe with her husband. And then I noticed this on the floor. And I thought, well, that's really strange. But something isn't right. Then I go up the stairs and I see the clock flipped over. As she ventures further, it gets even stranger. The painting was crooked. The lampshade was crooked. The place is ransacked. But a lot of the pewter was knocked off and it was all down on the floor. But the worst is waiting for her. It only takes one glance to see the den is a disaster. It looks as if a leaf blower had gone through the whole den and just blown them all over the place. The mystery deepens when Christine notices despite the mess, not a single item from the home is missing. Perhaps the vandals were hungry. They have got into the Easter eggs, chocolate. Could a troublemaker with a sweet tooth wreak all of this havoc? One of the constables think that maybe they got high on the chocolate and went bananas. Now that would be bizarre, but not nearly as bizarre as what they were about to discover next. The kitchen counter was completely covered with poop. Could this be the clue that will crack the mystery? It's time to call in the professionals. Oh, I said I think the house has been trashed. Oak Bay police arrive and quickly find the suspect's calling card. They track it to behind the washer and using a broom and towel, the officers take the bushy-tailed villain into custody. They got him into the towel and then out the back door. The saga is over, but there's a cautionary tale to this Squirrels Gone Wild. You see, this foe was once a friend. We don't know whether it was Wilhelmina or Franklin. Christine and her family had been feeding squirrels from this bowl of peanuts all summer. They come regularly. They just sit there looking in the dining room door waiting for their peanuts. But when the kisses went on vacation, one of those rodents turned, becoming a notorious felon now back on the run.